This is the CarLink Kit Android Media Kit. Plugging it into any car that supports Apple CarPlay, all of a sudden, we can watch YouTube and Netflix and do so many things on our car infotainment screen. In fact, CarLink Kit Media Kit functions like an Android phone, where we can install any apps from the Google Play Store, except it's not a phone. For example, I can download and run Waze app and use that for navigation instead of Google Map. I can download the Australia BOM app. BOM is our Bureau of Meteorology app to check for any weather warnings and see the rain radar. I can also download my home security TP-Link Tapo camera app to check out my home security cameras when I'm out and about. And the best part is, I can pair this CarLink kit with any Bluetooth keyboard and then I can type and do office work using Google Docs and Google Spreadsheet or type some notes on my Google Keep simply by downloading and installing all these Google apps. It just so happened that my car is a BYD Seal EV which has a huge 15-inch screen and it is big enough to be used as a laptop or tablet monitor screen. Oh, and because my BYD SEAL is an electric vehicle, no petrol engine, I can simply sit in my car and work for hours in this nice climate control aircon without worrying about carbon monoxide poisoning. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. I bought this CarLink kit myself using my own money. So, this video is not sponsored in any way. This CarLink kit media box is one of the most interesting tech device that I've bought and it has turned my car into an Android phone. It runs like an Android phone and we can download almost any app from the Google Play Store and use this car display as our phone screen, so to speak. If your car runs Apple CarPlay, then your car should recognize and run this CarLink kit without any problem. This CarLink kit is built on top of Android. Yes, I know it's complicated. An Android device running on top of Apple CarPlay? Well, let me explain. So imagine this is our car infotainment system which supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Normally, we connect and run our Android phone, like my Samsung Galaxy phone, using Android Auto. Or we connect our Apple iPhone using Apple CarPlay. And we can switch between our car infotainment system and Android Auto running on our phone. Now this is the tricky part. This CarLink kit is built on Android operating system like any Android phone. However, it connects to our car infotainment system using Apple CarPlay. So to my BYD car infotainment system, it thinks this CarLink kit is actually an iPhone, which in fact is running Android. So let me show you a demo. Every day, I start up my car like this and I've got my car link kit permanently connected to my car using the USB cable. It takes about 30 seconds or so for the car link kit to boot up and for the car to connect to it. And see this? My BYD thinks an iPhone has been connected via Apple CarPlay. But in fact, it's actually my CarLink kit, which is built on Android, like I mentioned earlier. I can go to Android Play Store and download any Android app using this CarLink kit. Now, are you ready for the mind-blowing part? 
I can also connect my Samsung Galaxy Android phone to the Carlink kit using Android Auto. While the Carlink kit is running on my BYD car system using Apple CarPlay. This is interesting, isn't it? And see how I can switch between them. So from my Android Auto, jumping over to Carlink Kit. And now from my Carlink Kit, jumping over to my BYD car system. And BYD car system, jumping back to Carlink Kit. And from my Carlink Kit, jumping back to my Android Auto. If you find the video useful so far, please hit the like button now. I'll wait 8 seconds for you to do this. Thank you. Now, why would I want to run 3 stacks of operating system on top of each other? The good thing about this setup is that I get the best of all worlds. I can't use apps like my Bomb Weather app, Google Docs and Home Security Camera on my BYD infotainment system and on Android Auto. But it's okay, I can run all those apps on the Carlink Kit Android system itself. And I can't watch YouTube and Netflix when I'm at the beach relaxing and camping in the car using the BYD infotainment system and Android Auto. But it's okay, I can watch YouTube and Netflix on the Carlink Kit system. By the way, please don't do anything crazy like watch YouTube video while driving, even though we can do so using the Carlink Kit. Safety first. Stay alive so we can enjoy tech and enjoy our lives. Another reason. BYD navigation and Carlink Kit Google Map navigation are not as good as the Google Map interface on Android Auto. It's okay, I can switch to my phone's Android Auto easily and use the Google Map navigation. And yes, I can still use my Google Voice on my phone. How's the weather for today? Today in Madrid. It'll be mostly sunny, with a forecast high of 27 and a low of 16. Once again, like I mentioned earlier, I get the best of all worlds. Does it interfere with those times where we want to access the quick car controls, like adjusting our car aircon temperature? I hear you ask. No, at least not for my BYD Seal EV. I can simply swipe up from the bottom, and my BYD Seal infotainment will kick in even though I'm on Android Auto, and it lets me adjust the aircon, as well as adjust the quick settings if I pull down the top menu. I don't need to hop down the stack, from Android Auto, back to Carlink Kit, back to BYD screen, and then adjust the aircon and hop back up the stack again. After I adjust my aircon, or my BYD driving settings, pressing the back button, pops me right back to my Android Auto running on top of the Carlink Kit. I hope you are following me. Yes, it's like the movie Inception. Now, depending on the brand of your car, your car's infotainment may not allow you to swipe up from the bottom like this. This is my BYD Seals operating system performing this action. Now, I have to say this. Carlink Kit user interface doesn't look the best and sometimes it's not as intuitive as I like. However, most of the function works and I can see it has improved over a few versions of enhancements and bug fixes. It's good enough that I can use it every day in my BYD Seal EV. It's not like it's so annoying to the extent that I don't want to use it. Now, to overcome some of these issues, the first thing I do is download Gboard Keyboard so I have a floating keyboard to type and swipe instead of typing across a huge keyboard at the bottom. The other thing is, I set up this Carlink kit using another dedicated Google Gmail account instead of using my personal Google account. This is because I noticed this Carlink kit doesn't have a lock screen. Which means, if touch wood, I were to lose this Carlink kit or 
my car gets stolen, at least it's not affecting my personal account. Carlink Kit has various different models and versions. The specs and links to this specific model of my Carlink Kit is in the description down below. Mine is the 8GB version so that it runs faster and smoother. Remember to subscribe if you like the way I use my tech gear. And if you like my car, I have lots of videos on my BYD Seal EV. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next video.